Hey guys, John out here on the back deck, enjoying this bright sun on my face, loving every moment of this. I wanted to hop on and I wanted to talk about eternal life. Eternal life is an interesting uh, concept uh, because it's something that Jeshua spoke about often. You know, he that believes in me shall have eternal life. That line in the Bible is, I believe, mistranslated. I think the word in should not be in that sentence. I think it should be, he that believes me shall have eternal life. Because he's, he was telling us all along that life is eternal. You know, when you talk to near-death experience people, they'll tell you that they leave their bodies. They go outside of their body, they go to another side, but they go on, the body stays here. They go on and the body stays here. The body is, a, is an interesting vehicle. And it's an interesting vehicle that our consciousness resides in while in the physical plane. But a part of, part of the, the creation of that body is the collective consciousness. The people who know you and see you and, and you know, when you leave your body, your body is left behind because those people their belief is still in you and your body being left behind. They, you know, oh my gosh, they're dead. They still see the body. They bury the body. They pray over the body. They, 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 they think about the horrible things that body went through. So the body stays in the physical plane because it is being carried forward by the people who put belief in the body. But in the Psalms, it says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. I've said this many times. It's a shadow of death because there is no real death. There is eternal life. It's an illusion of death because the body stays behind in the physical, which is the physical is the valley of the shadow of death because down in this valley, we have this awareness that we can die. But we go on and when we go on, we experience a greater knowingness, a greater feeling a greater love than we will ever experience and could ever experience in the physical plane because crossing over you are immersed in pure love and in the physical you could have fear and in the book of john it says no fear can exist in pure love well the other side is pure love the other side is god consciousness yada yada whatever you call it you're going back to that oneness of it all and you're experiencing the expression of pure love and those of of your friends and family who have crossed over yes their body was here in the physical but they themselves are in that pure love they themselves are over there and they they can see you they can experience you you just have a hard time experiencing them because of the focusing on the physical body and being here, it being here, the body that was here. You, you think of them, you think of that body, but they are not the body. They are far more than the body. They are in the oneness of God and their consciousness is formless. There is no need for a body. And so when you're thinking about those who've crossed over, remember they aren't the body, they are their consciousness they are themselves they are the person you knew they just had the image of a body but they themselves are, are never away from you that you're never alone and they are always expressing love for you and desire for you to do well and it's a matter of you to say okay I'm going to do the best I can and be love to honor them to be closer to them the more loving and caring you are in the world the closer you are to the ones who have who have left you behind because that is the key is to the more in more love you bring into your life the more love you express in your life the more you're in the feeling of them because that's where they are so it's a matter of you saying okay I'm going to remember them for the feelings they engender and I will remember them for the feeling of love that they are now. And I will remember them and, and con converse with them in the here and now. 
because I'm the one who can't see them, but they can see me. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.